Python for data science, uh, it's Python is the choice uh, of for data scientists these days for to do his day-to-day -day activities. Let's say, for example, you know, I'm a I'm a data analyst or I'm I'm a data scientist. I want to do some ad hoc analysis analysis on data. I mean, would I end up writing, you know, Java code? No, certainly not. I mean, the reason why you know Pig and Hive also were developed where because uh, Hive was developed at Facebook and Pig was at Yahoo, right? Because there, you know, they thought that Java is too complicated for data scientists in order to start programming. It's it's uh, uh, you know it has all it has its own syntax and semantics, and every time uh, you know you there is a chance that while developing you might run into a syntax and semantic error. So people did not want that, and hence uh, uh, you know they developed uh, Pig and Hive. But thankfully, we also had Python in parallel, uh, wherein you do not have to write a lot of lines of code. The only place where you need to remember is in Python is indentation. Okay, whenever I'm writing a code, for example, say here, the only thing you see, only the spacing is the spacing is all I have to remember. The indentation. If there is there are no proper indentation, it will fail. Otherwise, apart from that, everything is fine. If you are running a for loop, anything within the for loop has to come you know, few inches inside the for loop here. You see, you have to leave a few spaces blank here and then you have to write it here. So anything you start here, you know, it has to maintain the same indentation. Everything has to fall on the same line. So those are, you know, one, that's one thing that you have to remember in Python, whereas in, in case of Java and stuff, you know, you have a lot of things to remember. It's not that I, I hate Java, I can, I write programs in Java as well, but it's just that I love Python more. So now Python has a diverse range of open source libraries. Uh, we just talked about it. There are a lot of open source li libraries, and uh, uh, everything is free, right? So that's our Python data science. SciPy, you know, there are a lot of uh, packages available uh, for scientific SciPy. is nothing but scientific Python to do your uh, uh, scientific analysis. Let's say uh, you know you would have. Uh, you would have done mathematics on differentiation equation etc while you were in school and colleges right uh, how do you do that in in mathematics uh, in in computers you know you can you can do it in octave as well but uh, uh, you know python provides you uh, sci sci-fi scientific python wherein you can do that very easily there is sci there is sci there is numpy number python there is matplotlib there is ipython which is a gui based interactive console wherein you can write your programs and then see your graphs etc there is pandas again for data structures and analysis these are just few packages right so, and there is scikit learn for machine learning so on and so forth there are a lot of packages which you have seen right now you know which you saw in this one you know this, there are a lot of packages these are only a few that we have listed here <coughs> 